Guys, we made it out to South Coast Cars and Coffee to Southern California. And uh, yeah, brought the G80 out and uh, should be good times. Let's walk around, see all the cars that are out here. A lot of times they have uh, really cool M3s and Porsches and things like that. Uh, even right behind me is an R8. So we're gonna walk around, see what cars are out here and have a good time. Yeah, M3 is getting better and better. Uh, and that's the cool thing about progress. You get to see right away how much better cars uh, get when you start modifying, you start putting love into it and uh, you start seeing the progress. I mean, I can definitely drop it off at a shop and just get a bunch of stuff done at one time, but it's just a lot of fun taking your time, enjoying the, 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 the process. And a lot of times we forget to enjoy the process. So yeah, let's walk around and see what we can find. Ooh. It's a black 992 with a wing. This is, says GTS in the back. It's an old uh, 911. You can't go wrong with those. Look at her. She's up there doing her thing. Sometimes she's on top of a truck, you know? Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, really cool. Good time. This is uh, this is yours. Yeah, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, this is really really cool. Two up there, you can put a air, uh, twin size air mattress fits down here in between. Uh huh. And you can sleep across the front. There's a bed that goes across. It's got a heater, diesel heater. So okay. You, I I think it's a man with a lot. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it, man. I like it. Cool. Yeah. Look at this green on this Boss 302. It's a nice color. Yeah, it looks like they actually took everything out, painted it. Yeah, really, really nice color. It almost looks like a signal green from a uh, from Porsche, but um, looks really good. It's the Bronco with the top down. I remember hopping in that Bronco at the car show, LA Auto Show, and uh, it's really, really cool because the roof goes all the way back, really easy to get inside of. Here's a G80 M3 and drive it gray. Red carbon buckets inside. Nice. GTR, stock GTR. Uh, this is a 911, 991.2 convertible. Oh, look at this uh, F80 M3. And this color, I don't really recall. And they, uh, they got something called individual where you can order the color that you want but uh came out pretty good different with the white seats inside supra z4 looks nice here's the hummer right here and uh, you can kind of see with the hummer the body line with these tires that they put all the way out. Really aggressive. And then they wrapped it also, so. Makes it kind of cool. Which EV truck would you guys do? Uh, Hummer or the Cybertruck? Let me know in the comments. Nine nine six turbo it looks like, you know nine nine sixes are are still in the game, or back in the game I should say. A lot of people didn't really want them, and now they're just coming back. My little custom pieces to that. 
There's the, Ac the new Acura Integra. Four doors. Here's a G82 M4 competition. And it looks like, because this is an actual color from BMW, but he possibly put on a, a satin PPF over the paint. So it kind of gives it like a, a different color, almost like a satin color. And it almost dulls down the color a little bit to make it drivable, to be honest. Because without that wrap, it's really, really loud. Really loud. He has the seats inside that match also. Supra. Here goes a 992 with America badging on the side. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. It's a GTS. Yeah, 356 will never, uh, 356 will never die. This is normally like considered the exotic section. So you'll see like a lot more exotics on this side. Uh, McLaren. Orange Lambo. Uh, GT4. GT4s just got a little bit more popular in the Porsche world just because of their performance. Uh, GT3 RS. Yeah, GT3 RS in white. Ferrari. Oh man, I kind of like this color scheme. So for for me, Ferraris need to be red, but man, you get a black Ferrari, some white seats, that's, that's hot. That's kind of nice. You know, and the quality of the, the seats also look really good. I like it. Here goes the M5 CS. Very, very fast. Uh, Ferrari 458. I feel like this car will never die. It will just never die. The look still looks Ferrari, still looks modern. And uh, the motor's really, really loud and aggressive. Can't go wrong with a V12. Massive V12 motor, all in there. The supercar from Asia, so uh, really nice. Acura. NSX. VinFast came out. Yeah, a lot of cars really made it out today. There's more, a uh, little bit super exotic cars on this side. GTR. We got two Huracans right here. Actually, no, a Huracan and a Venador, so. Gotta give the Venador the respect it deserves. This is, uh. You know, it's a nice, it's a nice color. It really is a light, nice color. My, you know, if I got it a Venador. I think I would probably go like a matte black. It's it's just a really large car that would give it the vibe of a Batmobile or something like that. It's just really, really big. 720S, oh man. Ferrari 360 Modena. There we go, we have a, a GT3. Uh, 
here goes a turbo. Either turbo or turbo S. Red Ferrari on tan, you can't beat that. You definitely can't beat that. A Venador, Nissan GTR, uh, right hand drive. Yeah, 458. We're gonna go that way. Yeah, this is a, it's a good stance, good style. For sure. We got a. Uh, this pink car. I'm assuming it's uh, her car. Pink fig. Oh man, and and, the, and husband is wearing his uh, pink shorts. They did the whole entire just look. Get out! Get away! Get away from me! Sorry. Yeah, so that worked out really well. F80 M3. You guys already know. Love that car. Just old now. I mean, I have the G80, so it's not like you'll you'll see me go buy one again. I've already had my time. I've had that time that car for probably five years now. Um, by the time I sold it, uh, same with the E46. Love the E46 M3. The E46 M3 just had a lot of issues, and I don't really miss the issues to be honest with you. I don't miss them. Look at this Fair Lady Z uh, Nissan Z over here. Looks, I mean, it looks good. Looks good. I like it. I wouldn't mind driving it. I'm looking for more G80s, man. And okay, I'm seeing one over there. Are G80s rare? Like, what's happening? Okay. As I say it, I'm seeing at least two right now. So, here's one in, uh, I guess, satin or matte Portimao blue or frozen. That's the verbiage. Frozen Portimao blue. G80. Looks like it has my same interior. Yep. Orange seats. And it's a competition. You can tell competition, not only because of the wheels, um, but... The comps actually say competition in the front. The ones that are manual will just have an M3 logo in the front. So that's the only way you'll know right away without looking inside. Okay, so this one is an M4 competition. But we know it's a 25 because it has the new headlights in the front. I still don't know how I feel about these headlights, man. They look uh, they look a little too simple. They don't look complicated or expensive like the previous model. We got, we got sub G80 out here. I mean, he has an aggressive front end with the yellow halo. So, you know, that, that's the look you want. Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, man, that's the homie. I met this guy a while back at a few car meets now. And um, it's always good to see an aggressive G80 uh, pulling up. F80 M3, Yas Marina Blue. And that's an M4 over there in... Uh, I don't know what that color is called anymore, but um, it's a it's not really a desirable color for me. Um, but it's not bad. Got the HREs clean, and then he's super drop low at the floor too. So that's how you want it when it comes to uh, having a nice wheel stance setup. It's the M4 GTS. You know, the GTS is high quality, but it, it got a bad rap because it just, it doesn't perform like you'd expect it would for a $100,000 car. And, uh, but as far as the respect, we, I mean, we still respect it. So uh, BMW actually canceled that name and um, they just went with the CS models now.
But yeah, it looks good. Carbon ceramic brakes. Huracan. Urus. When you see this logo on the side, you know, so it's, uh, this means a uh, new rally. And what they do is they go to like different areas and they drive their cars and have a good time. And you, I guess you pay like a fee and you end up going to different parts of the country. I mean, and they get like hotels and they eat together and things like that. So it's a, it's a pretty cool event. I see a lot of people promote that online and, ha and have a good time. Let's go see if we can view some cars driving by. Yeah, we're just still walking through and seeing. Okay, there goes a uh, this homie over here and his uh, 993. Actually, no, that's someone else because his this is actually looks like a okay, it's a Carrera 4, almost looks like a turbo. That was funny as fuck. Yeah, that's the thing when you have a black 911. Oh man, you, you're you're not the only one. Because black was the color for Porsche. That's, you know, that's the that's the issue. It's the color for Porsche. So you're not really going to be able to stand out as much because uh, everyone else is getting black. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't like an issue. There's no issue with getting a black Porsche. It's just if you're looking to stand out, that's not the color. Because uh, everyone will do the exact same mod or whatever that you did. They'll do it. This is uh I don't think it's an M2. Yeah, it's not an M2. M240i. For example. And like the you know the joke is if it's more than one number before or after the M logo, it uh it's not a real M. Hey there you go, you gotta use the back seats. You know, the Porsches are actually four-seaters. People don't know that, but it's an actual four-seater car that you got insurance break just having four seats. We're gonna go check out this Ferrari, blacked out Ferrari over here. Yeah, so a uh, 458 Ferrari 458 convertible. They call them spiders. So when you have a spider, uh, it, it kind of gives it like a different look. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Uh, it, it looks like carbon ceramic brakes, but their calipers are gray as opposed to like a yellow or a red in other cars. Okay, here's a G80 M3 with the Vorsteiner front lip. Yeah, he has it black with the carbon buckets. looks like it's basically just Lord. Let's see if we can find out what he did. It actually, oh, it's a wrap, guys. It's a wrap. Yeah, it's a wrap. You know, BMW does offer these colors um, in the individual section, but 
It's definitely gonna be a lot cheaper wrapping your car. And it looks like the wrap came out pretty decent. I mean, if you if you wrap it good enough, no one's gonna tell. They're not gonna tell. You'd have to be like a BMW connoisseur to really know that it was uh, wrapped. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite body designs. You know, I, I always like dream of and in my head sometimes is when I see like an abandoned uh, Porsche 993 and you know, like it's dirty and the seats are all messed up. I'm like, man, I wonder if this guy will like sell it you know, for some super low number. But nine times out of 10, if he's at a car event, at a car show, yeah, he, he loves his car. He, he knows what he has. He knows what he has. Most people don't like a uh, windshield wiper. But, you know, it kind of puts a little bit of character to it, I guess, in the rear. You don't really see that a lot. So let's see if we can hear this 992 before he leaves. Yeah, brakes are nice. Yeah, GTS. Yeah, those are huge wheels back there with the P0s. As opposed to like these are 20s right here. But with Porsche, it's not about necessarily being fast 0 to 60. And you know, uh, Porsche is about the, the canyons, man. The way it feels when you're when you're twisting and turning through the canyons. That's really interesting. So he's he's uh be, gonna be able to go on carpool because of this. <laughs> you guys for watching the channel and seeing these cars with me at the end of the day you know that's what it's all about the love for cars and i go to a lot of these events so make sure you guys also click subscribe and uh tell a friend but yeah thumbs up also peace see you guys take care